how to set shipping rates on a square hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can set up the shipping rates within your square account it is very easy and very simple all you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead and visit squareup.com then create an account within a square and it is a very easy process if you want to know how you can go ahead and create an account so prepare your name last name phone number and the address and also some billing addresses and here we have it now after you have set everything you will see the dashboard right there here we have the dashboard and my account is about 17 percent set up so i need to provide more information as so i can activate the payment methods and also the payment getaway now after you have set everything you are going to seek for the shipping and how you can search and uh, find the shipping you are going right there on the left side menu and scroll down a little bit until you see settings you click on settings and now we are going to click on account and settings within that set i am going simply to click on fulfillment here we are going to see also in the left side menu a drop down menu on the fulfillment we have two options we have the pickup and delivery and we have the shipment the first thing you are going to set right there or see is to verify the pickup and delivery now you are going to set that and also you are going to make everything set because this is the delivery option and you are going to set this option for delivering your orders click on advanced settings and here you are going to set a large order settings for example or a pos arrival alerts when you finish those you are going to click on save now within everything set right there you are going to click on shipment shipments here we have options we have shipping labels create labels through square you can go ahead and create your own label or set a retail shipping rate profiles and this is for the uh, shipping rates now we have also the option of shipping for square online you can manage the shipping orders purchased uh, through your website you are going to square online shipping and etc we can click on that option and you are going to uh, see that we are going to be uh, redirected to a website called weebly and within that website you are going to set everything manually this will not go ahead and regulate the square but the shipment in your website now the first thing that you need to do right there is to click on add new profile now within that profile you are going to set everything on the shipping of your business now we have here the profile details the countries and the rates so go ahead and name the profile for example here they have some example us and canada rates asia rates and etc let's say uh, that i'm going to set the international rates international like that rates you're going to name it like this like that and here we have it now for the countries you're going to click on the list of the countries here we have the list of the countries select from a list of countries to apply to profile or you all are going to click on rest of world automatically add all countries not already included in the order profiles so we're going to set the rest of the world now we have no excluded countries and for the rates we're going to click on add rate right there we are going to put the rate name for example flat rate and for the type you are going to choose one of these options we have free shipping flat rate as we have a name already based on order total based on weight total or based on number of items here as i have named it flat rate so i'm going to set it as a flat rate this is just a fixed amount that you are going to post or charge your customers for shipping right there i will go ahead and decide how much i will go ahead and charge for example for the international one 
I am going to set it as thirty. Thirty dollars for the international, and wherever you are, you will get that uh, product for thirty dollars. Or you can go ahead and set it, for example, for twenty-five. Now, when you have set everything right there, I'm going to rename it like that. It has gone so flat rate like that. I'm going to put something like this one, and here we have it. Go ahead and readjust something like that. Click on done and everything is set. As you can see here, we have the flat rate. Now the profile name set, the countries is set and also the rate. All you have to do is to click on save. And here we have the first profile and that was for the retail shipping rate. Now let's go ahead and create the labels through square. Here streamline your label workflow across square services is the print labels, ship orders and track shipments in all one place. So click on get started right there and it will show up the window. Here it is a collaboration between Scare, the Square, uh, Simply and Shippo. So you are going to sign up or log into an existing Shippo account, enter your billing information, allow Shippo to access your Square account and figure configure the shipping label settings. So we are going to click on connect account right there. It is a very easy to set the ship out. So we are going to wait for the uh, pop up right there. You can go ahead and see that uh, ship out will or, or um, making some conventions and also some uh, collaboration with uh, these uh, carrier. We have USPS, FedEx, UPS, DHL or Canada Post and 20 more so we are going to set right there a address and a, a password a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses and accounts are created for the sake of the video so we are going to uh, use our own information for the car number um, here the month the year and also the cvs this is for the uh, purpose of a uh, Selecting and also paying the shipment. When you finish setting your Shippo account, it will be connecting right away to your uh, screw up account. And then you're going to see the carrier and the service level. And also, you can set the shipping boxes. And the final step, you will see the summary of the operation that you have set. Let's go ahead and add a new profile right there because there is a lot of options as you can see. Here I am going to put, uh, for example, express. Uh, let's say express shipping like that. And here we are going to set the list of countries. You can add some countries manually, for example, like that, or uh, choose whatever uh, these. I'm going to set uh, all of the countries. You can go ahead and set it for all the countries, but unfortunately, it is set on the previous one. So we are going to set it like that. Add some countries like that. For example, I'm going to choose the United States. Let's say that we are going to choose Greece and Germany and a lot of countries that we are going to set. For example, click on done. Here we have the countries. And now we are going to set the rates. Name that rate. I'm going to put standard. Standard like that. And for the type, you are going to set something. For example, for the free shipping, you can go ahead and add a eligibility. Now, for all orders or based on minimum order amount. For example, when the customers exceed the $150 on the order, they will go ahead and set a, or get a free shipping. You can go ahead and click on done. And here we have all free over 150 and it will be shown in your website. When you finish that, click on save and here we have it. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.